What's up guys, it's me Andrew again and I am on a bit of a retrofit craze. So I will be showing you how to retrofit by xenon projectors into your BMW E53 X5. So after September of 2002, the X5 headlights became perma-sealed, which means you can't bake them open. If you want to do this to your perma-sealed headlights, you'd have to revert back to my E36 video where I show you how to break apart those headlights that way. This headlight, in my case, is an eBay Spider branded headlight, which is not permanently sealed, so I can bake it in the oven for 10 minutes at 250 degrees, and the glue will soften enough where I can crack open the lens. It's held on by clips right here and all around the perimeter of the lens and it just pops off like that. Now this headlight does include halos and although I don't have them installed the dimensions for the low beam one is 125 millimeters and it's a full circle and for the high beam is 145 millimeters and it's a semicircle. so in case you ever want to upgrade or if your halo just breaks those are the dimensions you're gonna need. Now, taking off this, the lighting portion out of the housing is very simple too. They are held together with a ball and socket here, a ball and socket right here, and a ball and socket at the bottom. These two are for your uh, left and right and up and down. Uh, aiming adjustments and this one is for your auto leveling motor or in my case if you're coming from a halogen bulb it's just going to be another holder for the lighting bowls. So I am using an older Hella RS6 projector which will probably be hard to find at this point. A nice modern uh, by Xenon headlight that will fit right in here will be the Evo X projector. They both mount the same way, which is you have a nut here, a nut here, a nut here, and a nut here. And exactly those four points will hold the entire projector on. When you mount these proje when you mount projectors onto these housings, you have to keep in mind uh, rotation, hot spot, uh, low beam and high beam alignment, and that's about it. I'll explain the details of those later, but I will show you how to modify them. Hotspot is adjusted by spacing out the lens from the bowl using washers. What you want to do is put the projector on a jig and shine your xenon bulb lit up to on a wall 10 meters away. What you want to see is the brightest part of the light at the step of the cutoff. Another thing you want to do is adjust the rotation of this. That will be done with adjusting the shield stop, which is right in there. You either pry it in towards the bowl or out towards the lens, and that will play around with how much this shield can go up or down, and you want it to be level. The next thing you want to do is also keep in mind the high beam hotspot and low beam hotspot correlation. BMW wants it to be 5 millimeters up and 5 millimeters away from the step. And the way you would space that out properly is by using washers. As you can see, the bottom of this side uses 5 washers, but the top of this, this one uses 3 washers. And on the other side, it uses 2 washers on the top and again 5 on the bottom. That would just space it so that the low beam and high beam are correctly aimed. An easy way to check for rotation on this projector would be to make up a little jig like this, where the projector would screw in here and here, and you would just clamp the bottom of this jig onto its flat table, and from 10 meters away, shine it on a wall, and check where your hotspot is. To do, th to do this, you're most likely going to be in a house. So you want a separate PC power supply that can power up your ballast and bulbs. 
To do this, you basically have to jump the green pin to one of the black grounds, and that will turn on your PC power supply so that you have lighting to work with. Power will be attained by one of the Molex pins, and that will go straight to a 9006 connector, which will power your ballast. Now let's talk about how your hotspot and cutoff and high beam alignment should look. This is what your low beam cutoffs should look like. They should be level against the wall, and well, these are the two steps for your driver and passenger. Now, your hotspot should be right at your step, which means the highest concentration of light should be right where the steps are. Just like this. Now, if your hotspot is down here, that's not right. And if it's down here, or if it's up here, sorry, that is also not right. You want it right at the step. So let's draw where proper hot, a proper hotspot should be on these projectors. And this, again, you do, you attain by spacing your lens away from your bowl, so this happens, or you have to reseat your bulb, which is just basically replace it back in the holder properly so that you get light output where the highest amount of concentration is there. Next, you want to think about your high beam, high beam alignment. Like I said, from 10 meters away, you want the high beam to be 5 centimeters up and 5 centimeters away from the uh, low beam hotspot. So for the driver's side, it's going to be right there, 5 centimeters up and 5 centimeters away. Again, for the passenger side, it's going to be 5 centimeters up and 5 centimeters away. Essentially, they should meet somewhere in the middle. Oops. And that is where your high beam hotspot should be. Right there. And that would make sense to a lot of you guys because when you consider your bi-xenon high beam, they will shine something like this in this green line. And they will just give you a wall of light right there. And that would cover everything that your low beam and high beams are currently shining on. So now that you have everything aligned and set, you have to think about wiring your high beam solenoids. The R6 is a old projector, so the electronics box for it right there is kind of big and bulky. And it does not fit when it's mounted on the projector itself. Therefore, I had to break it off and extend all the wires to it so that it, and put it somewhere else in the housing where it would not interfere. You don't have to think about that if you go with the Evo X projector. What's also neat on the uh, spider housing is that they give you this nice little grommet area for the high beam wires, to, uh, solenoid wires to snake through. What you want to do is splice those in with your high beam wiring and then you would get your bi on output. Since I didn't want to hack into the OEM wiring for the X5, I bought a 9006 extension, which is just a male and female extension, and spliced it, the high beam solenoid wires into that. So this male side would plug into the high beam bulb and then this female side would plug into the uh, original high beam plug. So when that happens, power will go straight to the bi on solenoid and also the high beam bulb. Once that's all done, you just reassemble, pop everything back into its place, just like that, and then you bake it at another 250 degrees for 10 minutes to get your glue nice and soft, and then you just push that lens back on completely. 
and there you have it. That's your BMW X5 by Xenon Retrofit. If you have any comments or questions, post them up below, and thank you for watching.